Hello everyone and welcome back to JB Stuttle Gaming. Uh, for those of you who uh, are watching the series, I do apologize. Uh, there has been a pretty big jump in things. As you can see, we have uh, six party members and things have changed up quite a bit. We have accomplished some tasks and done some things. Uh, the reason this happened is I was having some issues with the game. I was having some issues loading and things like that. Um, the game was freezing at a certain point. So basically the two members that we have that have joined our party here, um, we have Regan Regengar Regengar here. Um, he is kind of a chaotic evil. He's uh, he's a Megas, so he's like a fighter and spellcaster. Um, he's pretty cool. I really like him a lot, and he's in a relationship here with Octavia, who is chaotic neutral. I believe they were both uh, captured by the Technic League, the uh, people we found a while back that were slavers that tried to capture us. We ended up freeing them, and whenever I told Regengar that he could kill the the person that tried to capture us and they captured them it would flip out and then i was having issues whenever i was alt tabbing doing things the game was soft locking and doing all kinds of stuff and it was just making recording a mess so what i've decided to do is you know i've been able to record some stuff over the weekend i'm gonna have to get back to work eventually and i'm not going to be able to really keep this up daily so we may skip around a little bit i figure we'll jump in here we've done a little bit of other side stuff and like i said recording was just kind of a mess so i think we're going to do one more video now it may be a little while before the next one it may not but what i definitely want to do is definitely show you some of the uh, Kingmaker stuff of the uh, of well this this was actually a module or, or whatever adventure path I guess it's called now. I'm old school, um, where uh, we're going to show that and show the kingdom making and how that works eventually when we get to that in the storyline. Uh, so I do apologize, we're not going to end up showing the full beta right now just because of time issues that I'm having and you know issues I was having recording it. So it's working right now. I do want to point out that I do occasionally uh, stream this game and other games are actually streaming uh, right now. Uh, because I hadn't really used Twitch in quite some time, um, and because I didn't really use it that long in the first place, I only have a couple followers. If you want to, uh, please go ahead to, uh, I'll try to put a link in the description. If I remember, just follow me at JB's Little Gaming at, uh, twitch.tv, uh, if you want to see more of this or other stuff in the future. So, uh, we did explore some other stuff. We, we did get a little bit of information, but we're now back into the Sycamore Caves. I didn't even notice there's this whole section here that we miss. So we are still looking for a Tartusio, but we did rescue two people. And by the way, I do want to point out, this is really cool cool about the relationship between these two characters. They're two interesting characters. Um, I do like that even though this guy's kind of evil, um, you can be evil in this game without being, you know, uh, a mad scientist, evil or whatever, and they seem to have a a, a kind of cool, interesting relationship, and we had some cool uh, dialogue with these characters. And I am sorry you missed that, uh, but I do want to point out that uh, I've mentioned before I like some of the uh, the dialogue and the characters in this game, and I'd actually seen some of their dialogue before um, in Adam Coville's playthrough. Uh, so. But yeah, they're, they're pretty cool characters, and I'm looking forward to meeting even more characters. But right now, we're just going to, you know, fight some kobolds, so this will be relatively simple. Um, I'm just going to split up my melee fighters here so that we have kind of a wall going forward. But yeah, these guys um, are not going to be too difficult here. So yeah, we're, we're in the middle of exploring this. We've got some new characters. And like I said, this may be the last video for a while. Heck, there may be one out shortly after this one. It's, it's just going to depend on time and work and all that kind of stuff. But I do want to show you some of the other features of the game. We can carry more now that we have a full complement of a party. So that's super nice. And I'm very happy about that. So let's see what else we can loot in here. Ooh, okay. That looks like all good stuff. So let's gather up. And, uh, yeah, still really enjoyed the game. Like I said, having some technical issues here and there, some issues with soft locking and things like that, I definitely want you to come forward because I want you to do a cool thing because you have burning hands. So now let's go. We're going to set it up here in anticipation of these guys coming in. And bam, there we go. Okay, so, yeah, that that's nice against the kobolds to have some AoE effects like that. And, uh... Yeah, so this guy's pretty cool. Um, one of the abilities he has that I like is the Magus, if you're familiar with Pathfinder, has uh, gets this ability where he can, like, uh, cast spells through his weapon, which is pretty neat. And, you know, this might be a character. I have a light spell on him just because we're in the dark here. Um... And this is may maybe because, you know, eventually I'll play the game later, you know, in, in the next build or with... Uh, 
you know, when the game actually comes out, and I probably won't end up using the same character. This seems like a cool class. You know, there, there's all kinds of pretty cool stuff in the game. So what is this? Scroll Vanish. We've already got some potions of that, but that's good to have. Anything else important that we really missed around here? Hmm, Dragonlike Creature of Worship. That, that the kobolds are worshipping. That reminds me of a 5e module we're playing through right now. So, um, what else do we want to explore up here? Uh, some Definitely some more kobolds to fight. That's fine. Um, now, Octavia here, I wouldn't really talk about her. She is a combination um, of a thief and a wizard, I believe. So that's pretty cool. I've been having fun with her. Um, I, I've messed up some things with like what uh, feats and things that I've chosen uh, for now. Yeah, let's just, I'm gonna have you run up here and try to do your cool stuff again. Just because I like the, uh, if I have you go all the way here, can you get everybody in that? Yes, excellent. Oh, that guy's dead anyways, and eh, it did zero damage to that guy anyways, but that's alright. It's a fun, cool spell. I like to cast it. Um, it is a little bit tricky with this game being real-time and not turn-based, you know, to land those AoE spells and things like that, but I don't necessarily have a problem with that. You know, the turn-based versus uh, real-time possible thing, it's really, it, it's something that can lead to a lot of discussion. Uh, you know, I said before how much I, I didn't necessarily think I'd like to turn base. You know, I, I was a big fan of Boulder's Gate and stuff like that. Uh, but I did like um, Divinity Original Sin. But I'm enjoying this too. So it's an interesting kind of thing to plan uh, where spells are landing and stuff like that. Plan ahead for that. So these guys aren't super hard. So just for fun, because I love charging. Rip them all! Even though that does take a while to load up. <laughs> Still, it's fun, and then when she hits, she often one-hit stuff. Uh, which is pretty fun. And the spider legs sell for a decent amount. So right now we're just kind of exploring the caverns. Uh, you remember we eventually want to... we got to get like the keys to get through and finish this thing off. So we haven't really progressed this quest at all, although we've done some other stuff. And uh, I keep thinking I can rotate the camera, but I can't. Uh, so yeah. There are some features I'd like to eventually see in this game. Um, you know, some quality of life things, some... Uh, and now we have somebody because they are also a rogue who's good at disarming traps, thankfully. I did come across a section just kind of roaming around the map that had, like, super high-level traps and just, like, was, like, killing people. And I'm like, oh, and I triggered one there and almost killed her. So one thing, she's a cool character. I really like her. She's super squishy. Um, and like I said, th their dialogue's really cool, and I don't necessarily want to, you know, ruin all that. My goal is to show off this game for fans of Pathfinder who might not have known about it, people who like CRPGs. Um, even if you're not a fan of Pathfinder that may be interested um, in this sort of thing. And like I said, as someone who's only played Pathfinder once, I am really enjoying it. So yeah, let's just make sure we divide up our attacks here. Well, actually... Yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, these dudes are not super hard. Although, we definitely, we want to get to the alchemist. Somebody get to the alchemist, because he's going to throw some bombs, probably, and do some AoE damage. And there we go, we got him. So, thankfully, the enemies have some long, you know, spin-up time, if you will, on their attacks as well, depending on what they're doing. So, while there are certain things I feel like they could be explained a little bit better, and I feel like there's some quality of life things... I really am uh, having a good time with this game, and I'm really liking the characters, and I am. I'm actually kind of bummed I missed out, or you guys missed out on some of the, the dialogue between uh, those characters, but actually I decided, like, that may be a good thing. I want you guys to experience this game, too, if you're interested in it. This isn't going to be a full playthrough. Obviously, the game, you know, only you can play it only up to a certain point anyways because it's the beta. So, uh, you know, and like I said, not being a full-time YouTube channel, not being someone who actually, you know, makes any money or does this for a living, doing this, um, I feel like, wow, okay. It looks like there's a lot of stuff going on here. I just kind of... We, we've been fighting these kobolds and, uh, you know, things have been all hunky-dory because they're not that tough. But there's a lot of dudes here. So I think we're going to... I'm going to keep myself alive for a second. All right. And then everyone who's not doing a thing, do a thing. 
Oh, there's the chief. That's the dude we got to kill. Okay, that's important. We probably... I kind of wish that I had prepared for this battle a little more. I guess I should have realized, you know, there's a door there. This is probably going to be important. Alright, once we take care of the people back here... And... Let's see here. Do you have... Yes, you do. You... I've got some alchemist fire stuff that I haven't really done... Hmm. So can we not do that? Why can we not do that? If we throw it on an enemy, does it? Hmm. I'm just kind of wondering. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I think that's because I have the lock on to enemy with an AoE effect thing. So one damage a piece. All right. So maybe those aren't that, that, that great. I mean, we could have just got a bad die roll on there. So we definitely want to keep track of things. Um, yeah, get your battle song going, and let's see here. We're starting to clean up these guys down here, and we don't want Octavia to be getting beat up there, but let's have you, Amari, can you charge in here? The more people we have covered, the better. There we go. So, the chief is getting to be in trouble here. Um, let's see here. But we definitely we want to do some healing here. Once we finish off these guys, maybe we'll do an AoE heal. So, Amara, you come and help out down here against the chief, who is probably the toughest. Oh, okay. So, once the chief goes down to, to zero... Deceased! Deceased! Is Chief Suit Scale Tribe? Alright, so Chaotic Good, which I am. I won't kill you, Chief. Take your servants and leave. Uh, finish him. Yes, say your goodbyes. Um, hmm. I mean, I want his stuff, though. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. One thing, the moral choices in this, it seems like good... Uh, just does is always letting people live which is an interesting thing um i'm assuming if we let him go we'll still get the item but i don't know if we'd really let kobold chief live we're gonna finish him off there we go okay so now everybody work on finishing this dude off and then oh we got a level up sweet so uh you can do an aoe heal now and not hit any okay amari you hang on just a second i want you to get healed everybody hang on hang on get some heals get some heals on there we go all right now let's go charging in and uh we'll get to do some levels up um amari can you not? Oh, you can't get there. Okay, so everyone who's got some stuff that they can shoot, shoot at the bad guys, and then you shoot at the bad guys and shoot at this bad guy, whatever. Alright, so we're discovering some stuff. Hopefully, oh, they can get around that way. She just couldn't charge. Okay, there we go. We got all of them. Okay. So let's loot some stuff. Um, hopefully we will actually get this thing we were looking for. Let's see here. What are you? Oh yeah, that's definitely pretty good weight to value ratio. Okay, it's a magical belt of some kind. Excellent. Alright. Yeah, sometimes the tooltips... There we go. I think that's what we were looking for. Now is this good armor? No, not particularly. And again, um, like, like I said, there are some quality of life things I could think improve. There are some quality of life things about this that I think are awesome. Like when you leave a section, you know, this will pop up anything you've seen, and you can scroll down and see if there's anything you want to pick up in a section that you might have missed. And that is fantastic. All right, so we're probably going to want to loot these guys separately because they probably didn't show up on that. You can see, I think, when you highlight something, all the stuff in blue is the stuff that will be included in that loot when you take a loot action, which is also pretty nice. Again, some, you know, some cool quality of life things. So were you included in one of those loot actions? Uh, no, you were not. All right, so it looks like there's some people up here. Interesting. Oh, and, you know, we got, we got to... <laughs> I'm sorry, I am... A, ooh, what does this do? 
Okay, cool. Um, we'll eventually level up and stuff here. I just wanted to check to see if there was anything else really worthwhile. So it looks like, you know what? Let's actually quick save here. We hadn't done that in a while. And to be fair, again, I am playing this on a little bit of a lower difficulty. My, my object is to show off the game, not to show off the game like... Uh, I'm trying to think how to how to word it, you know, to be a tactical master or anything like that. So while you're busy fighting, someone was busy trying to escape to Cold Prison. And that attempt was a success. Oh, Valerie, okay. Um, she was, you remember, she joined uh, with Tartusio. I do not imagine I remember these. Uh, oh my gosh. First of all, <laughs> I hadn't decided on a voice yet, and then we're just not talking properly. I do not imagine I remember these days as among my more glorious. All right. Jethal, okay, yeah, she's the undead lady who also was fighting with us in the palace. Jethal states her clothes as if to eliminate all signs uh, of staying in the cobalt prison. Let us strike out and forget. Um, tell me more about the story of Tartuccio and the kobolds getting locked in the prison, sure. Uh, so there's nothing more to say. Let's see here. So basically, he seduced the kobolds, and obviously they, they seem to be not going along with it, and ended up getting locked up. Is it a tale of dis de deceit and disgrace? Tertuccio delivered everyone, uh, deceived everyone, spying for Pidex. Oh, that's right. So he, and because he's a spy, obviously for uh, a different nation, you know, these people fighting for this nation, you know, aren't too happy about it. And searching for an unknown relic. He used those gullible creatures and betrayed someone who might ask questions and expose him, presenting them as a hunting trophy for the kobold chief. All right, Valerie, I would be happy to have you among my companions because you look like a tank and we could use a tank. I mean... Oh, we got to swap somebody out. Okay. Um, who do we want to swap out? Um, I actually think we're going to swap out with you right now. I like you, but you're squishy. And I think I kind of screwed up because you had a bow and I assumed you had proficiency in bow, but I don't think you do. And you have some cool... No, but you're good at traps. Um, you give me... Who do... Hmm... I actually think we're going to swap you out with the cleric. Maybe. No? I like that. This, this dude does some nice damage. I like having him. You know what? We're going to do this for now. We can play around with it later. So let's put you in the party. And we'll, we'll, we'll decide later what the best thing, what the best option is. My sword is at your disposal. May this bring greater honor than serving that despicable liar, Tartusio. See, everybody making these snap judgments. And to be fair, even if I'm not the... Uh, you know, the wonderful hero of the land everyone assumed I was right away. You know, Tartusio definitely wasn't. All right. Battle with the Stag Lord and the Apostle Barony awaits me. I would appreciate the help of someone as skilled as you, Jethal. All right. So, um, she was doing work for us when we had her in the party before. But I'm trying to remember exactly what she did. She was kind of... Mm, I can't remember what class she was. And so this is one of these things probably off camera. I'm going to take a look at everybody. So now we have eight party members and you can have up to six. So I kind of want to keep the two we just got. I like having your healing and the bard song and all of that. But we're going to swap you out for now just so we can take a look at the new characters. All right. It's about time I continue my journey. So, we have both of them on our team now, so that's awesome. And we're going to have to level them both up quite a bit at this point. Um, so, we may do some of that off camera. And we may end up doing just a bit of a uh, shorter video this time. With the idea in mind that, uh, like I said, we'll come back, maybe show some major plot stuff. Maybe show uh, some of that kingdom building stuff. Because... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a matter of, of time being able to uh, keep up the daily video thing. I want to do that initially so that you guys can get a good impression of the game. And, you know, thank you all for checking out the channel and joining the channel recently because of me checking this out. Uh, but I, getting back to work and all that is probably going to be a little too much of a stress to try to keep that up, especially if there's going to be overtime and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see. we got to head back. 
and we want to talk to the Might Queen. Now, first of all, let's take a look at what you guys are. So this is something that I probably also want to make you sit through as I hem and haw trying to figure out. So she's a straight up fighter, which I kind of assumed. Um, I probably should have just gone into the character screen here. And uh, a Valiant Defender. So yeah, I'm assuming we're going to do like Sword and Board tanky build with her. Make her kind of a frontline tank that we don't really have. And you are... What? I don't remember, here we go. So, oh, you're an Inquisitor. Okay, we already have an Inquisitor. So we may uh, swap you out. I remember you were doing some cool stuff. Maybe I'll look at some stuff for her and help me to build my character. But um, for now, I'm assuming we've kind of cleared out this level. So the queen, I believe, was all the way up here. So we'll probably go uh, talk to the queen progress that a little bit and uh you know see where we're at and like i said i'll be back with more on this and i do want to cover other stuff you know i do want to go back and do some, some board game stuff some other video games or maybe another video game that i'll be checking out here in a moment as well so i would love it hey if the channel got big and i was able to do this and you know we could have daily videos on multiple things and stuff like that um guys <laughs> guys it is Pathfinder, and apparently that you could use a little pathfinding help. Uh, uh, uh. All right, yeah. So they're just walking into this wall. Okay, so that's not useful. <laughs> See pathfinding joke? Yeah, get it. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We're we're missing somebody. Head count. Anybody? And we're still, oh my gosh, we're still stuck in this room, and we're missing a person. You, come, come hither. And why are you hurt? What's going on? <laughs> I don't understand. All right, look. Come together right now. Over me. Remember what I said about a good night's sleep paying attention? Yeah, she's undead, so we basically just killed her, but because we're playing on an easier uh, level thing, she didn't, like, you know, die right away or take a mortal wound or whatever, and because we're not in combat, she was able to pop back up. But how... Okay. We want to go here. You're just, no, you're just going back that way, aren't you? Oh my gosh. Alright, we may cut some of this out of the video as I'm just losing my mind here trying <laughs> to get back to the location. Somebody tell me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I had a few drinks about an hour ago and it went straight to my head. Wherever I may roam, by land or sea or plain, you always hear me singing my song. Yes, the Invisible Queen. All right. It's done. I've defeated Chief Suit Scale. All right. Sweet. I shall reward and honor you, ally. Now, a really big attack and cut all kobold. Only wait. You catch purple hide. Okay. So. How do I get inside Sycamore Gar Hall? But you need relic. There are two. One purple hide. Where the second is, I do not know. I think kobold chief. Alright, but how... How do we... So, I think she's saying Tartuccio has it. But we need it to get in? I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll tell you what, we're level up, we'll check it out later. And then, like I said, we'll probably be back with... Uh, 
more videos in the future showing off some of the actual like kingdom making decisions and things like that it has some similarities from what i've seen to like dragon age inquisition but probably much better than that from what i've seen so far to be fair i kind of hated that game the original dragon age origins is one i really liked very similar to this style of game although i was very frustrated that the console version did not have like the tactical map and all that which i i don't really understand anyways we're not going to get into this the ea buying bioware just uh, in my own personal skulls. I loved you by where once upon a time. Um, but anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon. We'll have some other content other than this. And like I said, we'll be planning on doing at least one or two more videos on the beta in the future, showing off some of that other stuff. And um, hope you guys are looking forward to that and some of the other stuff we have coming up. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.